Yes, we're back at last after five fallow months, welcoming you once more onto the breach, dear friends, for the best in video game entertainment. So, for tonight's first challenge, let's renew our acquaintance with the great man himself, the Games Master. Greetings. How nice of you to join me once again. For this week's first challenge, I thought I'd test your nerve on Marble Madness. The object of the game is simply to guide a marble through a series of mazes. So get rolling and don't lose your marbles. And attempting to control his balls on this challenge is Mark Hawkfield from Wow! <laughs> Thank you, thank you, and welcome to Games Master 2, The Second Coming. Each week we'll be ferrying challengers and other minions out here to a converted all rig stroke holiday camp combination. Here they'll face rough seas, howling winds, and the verbose vernacular of the Games Master. Greetings, and I'd like to take this opportunity formally to welcome you to the Games Rig. <laughs> As you can see, I've undergone something of um, a facelift since our last encounter. Please bear with me, if to begin with, I seem a little um, disconcerted by some aspects of my new environment. Good Lord. I must say, for my part, I'm thrilled to be back so that we can resume our little communions. Nothing beats a good grapple, so for my first challenge, I've opted for the unorthodox pugilism of Street Fighter II. The object of the game is to inflict terminal damage on your opponent in a best of three fight contest. The um, dirtiest tactics tend to pay the greater dividends, so lots of unseemly conduct, please. Seconds out. Well, we scoured the arcades trying to find the best two fighters on Street Fighter 2, so please welcome Henry Coleman Jr. and Peter Deitch. <laughs> Welcome, Henry. Welcome, Peter. Right, now, I'll turn to you first of all. Henry, I know you two have had a couple of practices together. Who's been coming out on top? Well, it's all like evenly matched, really. You can't really tell. OK. Right, so what character are you playing tonight? I'll be using E Honda. E Eddie Honda? Yeah. And why is that? Because of his um, hundred hand slaps, sweeps, and um, close range to bear hug, so I can drain his energy down. OK, basically. then. Right, Peter, who are you playing to counter Eddie Honda? I'm going to be Ken today. OK, what are we going to see from Ken, see then? see dragon punches, um, sweeps, all types of moves, slams, everything. If you'd like to take your places, we'll get ready to play. <laughs> and helping me out in the commentary box is a street-fighting expert, Nintendo Hotline's own Keith Poulin. Uh, welcome, Keith. Well, thanks a lot, Don. Good oh, to be here. God, uh, thank you very much. Now, Keith, we've got Eddie Honda against Ken. What are some of the special moves for people who perhaps don't know the game at home? Okay, E Honda has a hundred hand slap, right. um, which is a series of very fast punches um, coming in a very few, short amount of time. And what, what about Ken? What's he Ken, got? Ken, um, he has uh, very um, aggressive low kicks. Okay, we'll look out for those. Are our two competitors ready? Yep. Then off you go. So we have Henry Coleman Jr. Oh. as Eddie Honda, the fat sumo looking broke on the left. Peter oh, D just Ken. Straight away, that was the hurricane kick you were talking about. At the top of the screen, oh, we can see two energy bars. Another hurricane kick. When they reach the bottom, it's all oh, over. That's a hundred hands that there. He's in the corner. Oh, and he's he comes out with a special right move. 
minimum energy. One He's more kick. Down. Ken's down. Ken's lost the first bout. So Henry Coleman Jr. is one up. This is a best of three challenge. So Peter Deitch must win this one to carry on. Oh, he oh dragon punch dragon there, but he punch missed. There, but, but he was hitting empty air. Oh, lovely, like, flying punch there. And he's and got another one. In the lovely corner, stunned there. We can see Eddie Honda's energy in the top left hand corner. It's going down a bit. Oh, that's good. I know Eddie's got a bit of a chip on his shoulder. Oh, that's a good flying there. punch there. Sumo's not a recognised sport. I went for a special move, didn't he? Oh, he's got Eddie Honda's Honda down. Eddie Honda is down on energy. He needs he's to do not something special this here. Corner. Oh, oh, yes, leapt over him. Reverse punch, which means that Ken has levelled it one all. <laughs> OK, then, let your final bout commence now. OK, we see Sumo Fat Bloke on the left. Dragon punch Quick straight away. Dragon punch from Ken straight off. OK, E Honda's kicking the air there. I think he's got the advantage with speed here, Ken. He certainly has. He's a oh, very that's agile fighter. That's a special move. That's a fireball. He managed to block it a little bit, but it's Another one. a bit of energy. He's blocked it. Another one. Well, look that one. Open there so you can see Eddie Honda's energy on the top left, running right out. He's Ken. running right out. Oh, Honda had slap, but it... Oh, lovely, he's pulled right back under the skin. Can he finish Eddie him Honda. up here? Oh, he my God, he's on a dead level. He's, he's, he's shaking him, he's grabbing him, he's pushing him. He's done it. Unbelievable. And Eddie Honda has done it. Ken falls to the floor. That's a good fight, man. Henry Coleman Jr. is tonight's winner. <laughs> Brilliant start to the new series there. Uh, let's go to you first. Peter, a really good comeback there from you. You were, you were out of it in the first bout. Talk me through it. Well, I went the second bout. I kept on coming in with flying knees, cyclone punches, and a couple of sweeps, and I should fin thought I'd finish him off there. OK, then, let's go to our champion, Henry Coleman Jr. Now, Henry, what on earth were you doing at the end of it? It looked very rude. Well, it's all like um, Eddie Honda's special finishing move, a bear hug. He just basically comes up to them, grabs them, then drains their energy, and I was counting on that to, to for me to be the victor. OK, well, because of that splendid shaken back action, Henry, you are the first winner of the new series of television's greatest prize. It's back, it's bold, it's the Games Master Golden Joystick! for our two brilliant competitors tonight, Peter Deitch and Henry Coleman Jr. <laughs> now it's time for this week's reviews. Each week we pick a theme and lump together a few games to go under the proverbial cosh. Here's this week's batch. <laughs> Tonight, we take your grey cells for a gentle jog as we look at brain games. First up on the Mega Drive, the Simpsons marketing machine trundles along in Krusty Super Fun House. Krusty Super Fun House is a brilliant game. It's got a unique combination of lemmings as well as a bit of platform to boot. You have to guide a load of rats into a trap, which may sound pretty dull, but because the levels are so massive, it could be going for ages. I wanted to see more levels, and I was intrigued and inspired to try and solve the levels. Although it's got very cartoon style graphics which you would think would aim at children um, because of the size of the levels and the puzzles it, it appealed to a very wide audience next block building clock beating fluffy creature saving action on the Amiga courtesy of Troddlers Troddlers on the Amiga at first seemed to me to be a lemmings ripoff with a bad control system but after I'd played it, I realised it was exactly that, a lemmings rip-off with a bad control system. The puzzles look a bit nicked from Krusty's, um, and the Troddlers just are nowhere near as cute as lemmings. I'm, I'm sorry, they just don't work. Troddlers is a very dated game. The graphics are very 80s, and the gameplay is excruciatingly dull. Now it's time for this week's new game section, and we open the series with the first TV shots of the most eagerly awaited sequel of all time, Sonic 2. Yes, he's back, and this time he's got a friend. The Green Hill Zone has suffered a mutant revamp, with the cheeky chappy bouncing off all kinds of angled springs and twisty walkways. In one-player mode, Sonic's newfound amigo, Tails, will help him collect those rings, while the split-screen option allows two players to compete in an orgy of hyperfast frolics to the finish. 
If you thought the Spring Yard Zone was bruising, feast your eyes on Casino World. And finally, it's disappearing Sonics and Tubes Ahoy in the polluted play area of the Chemical Plant Zone. This game is unfeasibly fast and looks set to slip into the slots of Sega owners everywhere. A somewhat mixed bag there, but never mind, tonight's celebrity has flown out to the resort, so let's go over to Games Master to see what task he'll be facing. Hello again. It's time to don our raincoats for some gumshoe japery on who shot Johnny at Rock. Tonight's challenger, turned detective, has three lives with which to survive shootouts in the pool hall and the casino in his attempt to foil the mafia hoodlums responsible for the death of Johnny Rock. Good luck. I'll be rooting for you. And indulging in some sharp shooting skills tonight, we are very lucky to have one of the funniest men on television. Star of the music quiz, whose line is it anyway? s and and that's love. Please welcome Tony Slattery. <laughs> Now, Tony, do you actually play video games? No, I absolutely hate them. <laughs> okay, we're all the more gentlemanly of you to come on. Now, this isn't so much a video game, Tony. This is more a way of life, this game. So we'd like you to play it in the style of a prohibition private eye. Can you handle that? Of course I can, yes. That goes without saying. Are you going to a wedding, by the way? Um, um, perhaps afterwards. Who knows, Tony? Maybe you and I. We never know. If you play your cards right. Okay, well, if you want to see if Tony plays his cards right on this game tonight, then join us after the break. Welcome back. We have Tony Slattery here tonight, and he's about to try his trigger finger out on the arcade game Johnny Rock. Now, with me also is Tim Boone, the main man from CVG Magazine. Welcome, Tim. Hello, Dominic. Now, Tim, any tips for Tony on this game? He says he doesn't like video games, so well, what advice can you give him? He's definitely going to like this one. Basically, he's looking for two clues, one from the pool hall, one from the casino. This is basically uh, Gangster Central. And what he has to do is look for these two clues by shooting everything bad and not shooting everybody good. Okay. What, it, what he's going to need for this is he's going to need uh, quick wits, mm -hmm. nerves of steel. He's going to need quite a bit of luck, and he needs to be good with the ladies. So I think he's the right man for the job. Okay, then. Tony, are you ready? Yes, I am. Thank you, Patricia. <laughs> okay, then. Can you take your pistol out of your holster and begin the game? You fast piece. All right, I will. <laughs> I walked into a room of sharks. Say, but this is a private club. I told him I was looking for months. Yeah, well, I ain't looking for you. I'll store you in my cheeks to win <laughs> Take care of him, boys. Okay, Keep your eyes open all times. And so there he's oh, he's man to the left, and he's got him now. Keep your eyes open. Don't let your guard down at all. Oh, 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 she's got she's, a shot. Has it gone? She's, she's got him. Oh, that's the she's got first him. of Tony's three lives gone. He's got two more lives left. He's that on the slab. Surgeon claims another victim. They're going to shoot me now. Shoot. There's the guy on the left again. Oh, okay. get me this oh, he's next. Watch. The woman again. She has, yes, she says she true. had the gun. He got her that nice time. Nice one, Tony. And the guy at the back of the bar. The guy at the back. He's got him. Oh dear, oh, no, he oh, dear, didn't. The he just off a volley. Okay. Okay. Watch out, guy at the front. Oh, he's got him. Yeah. And here comes the woman. And he's again. got the woman. She's gone. Watch the back. Guy at the back. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, he's got him. Rapid fire. There. Here we go. The guy at the back corner. Back again. And he's got him in slow oh, motion. Yes. Now, watch the pram. Watch the pram because it's the killer dwarf. Oh, no! <laughs> killer dwarf from the pits of Nazi hell. I thought he dispatched him with <laughs> relative ease there. And he's now onto the casino. Some very bad people in here. I showed him my 38. Okay, Brad, if you don't never leave this place the way you came in. There she was in the purple cape. Locked ya lil. She was the tight-lipped dame that I had needed to talk to. This is very, very dangerous place. Oh, 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 he's got all down on the table. Now he's got the here. Boys. Here he comes Someone at the back, the yeah. Yep, he's got him. It's one down. Oh, oh no, it doesn't shoot her. Shoot he's him. got him. He's doing very well here, yeah, Tim. Yeah, he's doing very well. Shoot him. Oh, he's got him on the corner. That's the one. And he's shoot him. Oh, yes, he's yes. got him. He's only got a couple of shots. Oh, he's shot an innocent victim. 
He oh, shot and now we're in the undertaker. Oh, oh zero, just so close and yet so far. So close. So unfortunately, Tony's challenge tonight ends in failure. But round of applause for Tony. <laughs> well, <laughs> bad luck, Tony. But I mean, you were going so well. You only had not about one or two more people to bump off, but you bumped off the wrong person. I know. Well, I think success isn't everything. It was all these women in low-cut dresses <laughs> appearing from nowhere. I mean, how am I meant to concentrate? <laughs> I completely understand. Now, unfortunately, Tony, you haven't won our special Golden Games Master joystick, but if I can patronise you for a second more and ask you, <laughs> have you enjoyed yourself anyway? I think the game is absolutely brilliant, and I'm not an aficionado, but I could well become addicted to that. Okay, that's the level. You've been a brilliant sport tonight. Round of applause, please, for tonight's special guest, Tony Slattery. Thank you. Now, sometimes finger pumping joystick power is not enough, and you need some help from an expert. Well, they don't come more intergalactic than ours, so let's take a trip to Games Master's consultation zone. Games Master. Welcome to my consultation area up here on the helipad. How can I help you? I can't find the Blue Switch Palace in Super Mario World. Can you tell me where it is? Ah, that old chestnut. The Blue Switch Palace can only be reached from Forest of Illusion 2. There's a deceptively placed illusion wall toward the end of the level. Simply walk straight through it. Thank you very much. That's quite all right. Next, please. Hello, Games Master. Hello, and just what is your particular problem? Can you please tell me how I can beat my friends at Game Boy Tennis? Practice the game, young man. Failing that, you can always cheat. When it's your service game, throw the ball high, but instead of striking it truly, step beneath it. If the ball lands on your head, you will have won the point without raising a sweat. Not terribly sporting, but hugely effective, I can assure you. Thanks, that's great. I know. Who's last for the evening? Hi, Games Master. Could you tell me if there are any special bonus areas on Zool? Ah, I'm rather pleased you asked this one. For Zool actually includes a special Games Master secret room, full of goodies for your consumption. The room is located on the third level of the sweet world. Simply walk straight into the first right-hand woods you come across, then you'll reach the rewards. Thanks a lot. That's all for tonight's symposium. See you along. Some golden bonding moments there, but time is drawing on and we must slot in our final challenge. So it's back to Games Master. Finally, for the night, I've opted for an arcade game, which I hope will tickle your fancy. It's called Dragon's Lair 2. And I'd like you to complete the first level of the game and reach the time machine without losing a life. Do watch out for the mother-in-law, an overweight old Hanidor who would like nothing more than to spot you with her rolling pin. I guarantee the action will be fast and furious, so brace yourselves for a picaresque adventure. And taking a magical skip down fantasy lane on this challenge is one of the best arcade players we've ever seen. So please welcome from Portsmouth, Dougie Johns. Well done, Dougie. No, okay, thank you. Now, Dougie, we've seen you in action. We know you're one of the best players around, but this game is very tough. Can you do it? Oh, well, yeah. I think with my superbly home, home games playing skills, I should be able to walk it. OK, we've got a very plucky competitor there. If you'd like to step up to the game, Doug, we'll get ready to play. And back for yet more punishment at my side is Tim Boone from CVG. Welcome back, Tim. Welcome. Hello, Dominic. Now, Tim, we know this guy's a good player, but this is one of the most difficult arcade games, isn't it? I would actually say this is probably the most difficult arcade game I've ever seen. OK, so what Dougie has to do is escape from the treasure room while evading Daphne's mother-in-law. He only has one life to do it, so it's going to be very, very tough. Are you ready, Doug? Yep. Then off you go. 
Okay, so off goes Doug. He's approaching the castle. He's got to look out oh, for the out, flashes. Watch out for mother-in-law. Here she comes. Oh, the she's a big left. girl, Tim. Out the door as fast as you can, because you don't want to mess with her. She's and not going to horse, happy. and away you go. I like I would if she was following me. <laughs> now then, keep, keep her off your back as long as you can, and down oh. off your horse, into the castle, I and she's trapped. I would want her on my but back any time. Snake, watch the snake again. I want to go down the chasm, but avoiding the spider. Got the spider. Now, the snake. And oh no, it's gonna be cool. Yes, he's missed. Here comes mother-in-law. Oh my god, she but she's not oh, giving she's up. She's massive. Is. Down, down the road, but now the door again. Watch her avoid the cracks. She's too fat to jump through there. Through the door. And onto that thing. Jump again down the hole. Oh no, he's gonna make it down oh, the hole. Slip down the hole. Lovely. Yeah, excellent. Watch the snake. Oh no, he's gonna snake snake. Snake. Oh, he's gonna jump on you. Oh wait, watch the snake again. Oh, the snake's gonna get him. No, the snake hasn't got him. Now, Oh no, the snake's oh, gone by the tongue. the red cage. Away. Oh yes. Now, grab the key. Grab the snake first. Now grab the key. Oh, he's doing very he's well so far. Awesome. Brilliant game. He's doing fantastic. Okay, now he's going to get out of here. Onto the cross. Watch the snake. Watch the snake. Oh no, look at the snake. It's big tail. The snake's tail. Doug, get the tail. Oh no, and Doug has failed. He's gone. Doug strangled by the snake and his challenge has ended in failure. Round of applause for Doug, everyone. No, thank you. No, Douglas, what happened? We knew, we, we've seen you before, you're a brilliant player, but it's a very tough game, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. The Don Blues games are, you have to be right on there, split second decisions, and pressure was on and just missed one move. Okay, well, you've given me personally a lot of pleasure today, Doug, so let's have a round of applause for our gallant challenger, Doug Jones! Thank you, Doug. Well, that's it for this week. Join us in seven days when we'll have Frank Bruno taking on arcade champion Paul Turner at Sonic Blastman. Well, that just whips up my appetite for the catfish and almond bake that's on the menu tonight. So we're off to have a little bit of that, and we'll see you next week. Good night. Now some panty-wetting news for all you lost souls unable to join us on the games rig. Channel 4 have granted us shore leave to set up the next best thing, Games Master Live, a three-day show at the Birmingham NEC in December. You'll be able to terminate your mates on Quasar, the laser video game. Or probe the recesses of virtual reality for yourself. We'll have the latest arcade machines for you to fiddle with. I'll be hosting challenges where you'll get the chance to beat the people you see on TV and, best of all, you'll be able to get your hands on all those games you've been perspirating over. Here's all the info you'll need. The dates, December 4th, 5th and 6th. The place, Birmingham NEC. To book, call the NEC box office on 021 780 -4133. Do tell them if you're in the Games Master Club because we've got special deals for all members.